The techniques for planning and fitting mosaic tiles are much the same as for regular tiles. You just treat each panel of mosaic tiles as a whole tile. OK, well I'd like to make a splashback for the basin using these mosaic tiles. OK, well that's a straightforward project, whether you use mosaic tiles or regular tiles. Is it best, as always, to work from a central point? Absolutely. So the first thing we need to do is to measure how wide we want the splashback to be. Would that be the width of the sink? It is, yeah. Good. OK, so we measure the width of the sink and then mark off the central point like so. OK. And we need, as well, to decide how high the splashback is going to be. I'd like it to be one mosaic panel high. Fine. And do we have to draw a vertical line as well? Yes, we do. And we mark the vertical line using the spirit level up against the mark that we made. Like so. And then mark the line. And as with regular tiling, we use that vertical line as our starting point for tiling, along with the horizontal line if necessary, but in this instance we're going to use the basin as the horizontal guide. OK. And do you need to use a special tile adhesive for mosaic tiles? Yes, you do. Mosaic tile adhesive is specially formulated to dry more slowly, to allow you more time to be able to make adjustments to the mosaic panels as you work. OK. As always, wear protective gloves. For showers and bathrooms, use a water-resistant anti-mould adhesive. Start applying the adhesive from the centre here. Scoop out some adhesive onto the end of the notch spreader like this and spread it across the wall. Work away from the vertical line, be careful not to cover it, and apply the adhesive with horizontal strokes, holding the spreader at an angle of about 45 degrees. It's important to use a notch spreader as the ridges of adhesive made by the notch spreader ensure that there's just the right amount of adhesive behind the tiles. They'll be sure to lie flat this way. The notch sizes in a wall tiling spreader are smaller than those for floor tiles, so make sure you have the right spreader. If you're using a combination spreader with both notch sizes, make sure you use the correct side. And here's a tip, keep a damp sponge or cloth handy you're bound to make a bit of a mess, so wipe up as you go along. If need be, protect your basin with plastic or cotton dust sheets. Right, now place the first mosaic panel against the vertical line and press it firmly in place with the flat of your hand. Rest the panel on the top of the basin with a row of spacers. Although you can slide and move the panel a little, try to work accurately as the backing mesh or paper will disintegrate once it comes into contact with the adhesive. Now place another panel to the side of the first and press it into place. Check your work is level and straight as you go along with a spirit level, like this, so that you can make immediate adjustments to the tiles as necessary. And clean up as you go along. You don't use spacers for mosaic tiles. The tiles are held into place by the mesh or paper until the adhesive sets, but it's a good idea to help to bed the mosaic tiles into place so that they lie flat, like this. Take a grab float and work across the mosaic with a slapping action, making light but firm blows. 
This is really quick and easy, but what do we do when we drop adhesive onto the mosaic tiles? You need to remove the excess adhesive immediately with your damp sponge or cloth. Any excess adhesive will be very difficult to remove once it's dry. Right. And remember to remove any adhesive which is squeezed out from the edges of the tiles. Okay. Okay, that's fine, but what would happen if I needed to cut the panel of mosaic tiles? Do I need any special tools or equipment to cut the mesh backing? No, not at all. Just use a pair of scissors or a craft knife to cut down between the rows of tiles. Okay. Right, we've finished tiling, and now we need to let the adhesive set before we can grow it between the joints. Okay. How long this takes depends on the type of adhesive, so you'll need to check the manufacturer's instructions. Okay. Is there more than one type of grout? Yes, grout comes in a premixed form or in a powder form and in many different colours. Don't forget to use a waterproof grout for your wet areas. Okay. Use a grout spreader to press a small amount of grout onto the tiles and then work the grout into the joints with a spreader like this. Make upward strokes and work quickly to complete the panel as the grout will soon begin to harden. Immediately go over the tiles with a damp sponge to remove any excess grout before it hardens, but make sure you don't drag any grout from the joints. Mosaic tiles are small and have many more joints than regular tiles, so it's almost impossible to shape the joints before the grout hardens. Use the damp sponge to smooth the joints flush with the tiles instead. Okay, now we've finished the grouting, I can see, as always, that the mosaic tiles have been left with a thin powdery film. How do I remove this? Simple, just use a clean soft cloth and gently polish the tiles like oh, so. Right. Do I need to seal these tiles? No, glazed mosaic tiles don't need sealing. To keep them clean, just wipe them down occasionally with warm water and a detergent. Right. Don't use abrasive scourers or abrasive sponges as that may damage the glaze. Okay.